Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about angle measures of triangles. So, turns out the sum of all the measures of the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, no matter what the triangle looks like. Here are a couple of examples. This triangle has all angle measures 60 degrees. It's an equilateral triangle and all of the angle measures are the same. 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. This triangle has angle measures of 75, 75, and 30. You might recall that um, a triangle like this one, which has two equal sides, is called an isosceles triangle. 75 and 75 is 150, plus 30 is 180. And this triangle, which has no equal sides, it's called a scalene triangle. It has measures of angle measures of 15 degrees, 95 degrees, and 70 degrees. And if you add 15 and 95, you get 110, plus 70 is 180. So even that scalene triangle has that same characteristic. So some of the problems that we're going to work in our class are going to give us a diagram, which is a triangle, and the angles inside the triangle will be marked, and we're going to be asked to find the measure of each angle. So here we have a triangle, one angle is marked x degrees, another is x plus 20 degrees, and another is 220 minus 3x degrees. So whenever you see that, you're dealing with unknown angles inside of a triangle, you use the rule that, or the fact, that the angles have to add up to 180. So that will allow us to set up the equation, x plus x plus 20, plus 220 minus 3x, that's the sum of the three angles, is 180. So to solve this equation for the unknown, the x, we're going to need to combine all the like terms on the left side. The x term, the x term, and the negative 3x term, those are like terms, we need to combine them. They're gonna to combine to give us 2x minus 3x is negative x, plus 20 and 220 is 240. So we have negative x plus 240 equals 180. Now we need to get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 240 from both sides. And when we do that, we're going to get negative x equals negative 60. Now how do you get rid of that negative in front of the x? If you said divide by negative 1, you are correct. We're going to divide both sides by negative 1, which tells us that x must be 60. Oh, we're almost finished, but we have to evaluate each expression. What I mean by that is that we are going to say, okay, well, um, x is equal to 60, so we know that angle is 60 degrees. Um, x is equal to 60, so this is going to be 60 plus 20, or 80 degrees. And over here, we have x is 60, so we're going to have 220 minus 180, which is 40 degrees. So the three angles are 60 degrees, 80 degrees, and 40 degrees. All right, there's another relationship that has to do with the angles inside of a triangle, but it's how they relate to the angles outside of a triangle. If you extend any one side of the triangle, we get what's called an exterior angle, like angle four. And it turns out that the uh, two angles not adjacent to angle 4, not the one that's immediately inside of the triangle next to angle 4, but the two what, what are called opposite interior angles, number 2 and 3, have to add up to the same measure as angle 4. So the measure of angle 4 is equal to the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. This is a direct result of the fact that the interior angles add up to 180. That would mean that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 adds up to 180. And we also know that angles 1 and 4 are supplementary. They add up to 180 because they form a straight angle. So angle 1 plus angle 4 also adds up to 180. So it must be that angle two and three are contributing the same amount of degrees as angle four, if you want to think about it that way. In any case, we memorize that the exterior angle, angle four, is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So let's look at a problem where we could use that fact. Here we're given a diagram with three marked angles. 
it says find the measure of the exterior angle indicated below. Here's the exterior angle that we're looking for. It's marked 3x minus 40. Now they tell us that these two opposite interior angles are x plus 20 degrees and x degrees. They don't tell you that 3x minus 40 is the sum of those two other angles. You just have to know that because of this fact about exterior angles. But if you know that, and now you do, you can say that the sum of the two opposite interior angles has to add up to the measure of the exterior angle. Now we're going to solve that equation by combining like terms on the left hand side, which is going to give us 2x plus 20 equals 3x minus 40. And now when we're solving an equation and we have uh, x terms and we have constant terms, we want to get the x terms to one side and the constant terms to the other. So the next thing I'm going to do is subtract 2x from both sides and I'm going to add 40 to both sides. And that'll take care of both of those, moving the x term and moving the constant term. So we're going to get x equals 60. And then we have to answer the question that was asked. We weren't asked to find x, we were asked to find the measure of the exterior angle, which is 3x minus 40. So we're going to have to plug 60 in for x. So 3 times 60 is 180 minus 40 is going to give us 140 degrees. Here's another homework example from my labs. It says, in triangle ABC, angles A and B have the same measure, while the measure of angle C is 54 degrees more than the measure of either angle. What are the measures of the three angles? Okay, so that's a lot to sort out. So what you wanna do is anytime a geometric figure is mentioned, draw a picture. So I'm gonna draw a triangle. It doesn't matter if I draw it accurately, just something that will help us to visualize what's happening. Now I've drawn this triangle. It does have two angles that appear to be the same measure. So I'm gonna label C, the one that's the different angle up top, and I'm gonna let A and B be the two side angles. Now we know that angles A and B have the same measure, so I'm gonna call them both little a. Your C is 54 degrees more than either of those. So what's 54 degrees more than A? A plus 54. So now I have labeled all of the angles myself. And now we're supposed to find the measures of the three angles. So that means that we have to just know the relationship between them. Since they're all on the inside of a triangle, the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. That allows us to set up the equation A plus A plus A plus 54, those are the three angles, equals 180. Then we just solve the equation. Combining like terms on the left, we have three a's. So that's 3a plus 54. Now we need to get the a by itself. So I'm going to move 54 over to the other side by subtracting 54 from both sides. That's going to give us 3a equals 126. And then to get a completely by itself, remember that 3 is being multiplied by a, so we need to divide. So we're going to divide both sides by 3 which gives us a equals 42. But now we have to make sure we answer the question. We are being asked for the measures of all three angles. Angle C is a plus 54, so 42 plus 54 is 96. So the measures of the angles are 42 degrees, 42 degrees, and 96 degrees. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.